Assalamu alaikum and hi. Good day to all panel and everyone who watched the video. I am Kairin Atilia binti Kairul Anwar, a final year Bachelor of Science with Honours Applied Chemistry student of UITM Perlis. My supervisor is Dr. Rizana binti Yusuf. Today, I will be presenting my final year project entitled A Review of Anthocyanin as Natural Color Pigments for Intelligent Food Packaging. Back in 2020, pre-COVID-19 outbreak, Malaysia's health minister, Datuk Sri Dr. Adham Baba had declared that food poisoning cases increased by 3.2% which was 516 cases in 2019 as to be compared to 2018 which was 500 cases reported. Packed food sold at either stalls or even big restaurants were the major route for these cases. In present year, the freshness of the raw material is one of the drawbacks that contribute to this matter. Many food packaging strategies had been evolved, which are both handy and informative. Therefore, many researchers and developers shows interest in inventing smart food packaging in fulfilling the demands of the consumers. Smart food packaging development has led to corporate interest among developers to come up with the idea of ideal food packaging that obliques the purpose suitably. In present times, manufacturers starting to utilize natural substances as main sources due to to eco-friendly properties which give no harm to the environment. Just a rough idea, smart food packaging is actually a bioplastic which consists of anthocyanin as a natural indicator. Synthetic dyes such as bromophenol blue, bromocasol purple, methyl red as well as chlorophenol red are frequently used and have been shown to react to pH changes when integrated into intelligent packaging system in previous studies. Even though the mentioned synthetic dyes have been proven to be effective, they are not suitable to be used in food due to their toxicity, carcinogenicity, and mutagenicity properties. This could threaten not only the health of consumers, but also the environment. Natural dye derived from plants and fruits are biodegradable, have minimal toxicity, and have little influence on the environment. Therefore, researchers have been using anthocyanin as an alternative to synthetic dyes as it is natural. Anthocyanin extracted from plants or fruits offers a lot of advantages and may be used in a variety of ways. In food industry, anthocyanins are usually used as natural food coloring as well as natural indicator. However, the effect of adding anthocyanin into bioplastic to its mechanical and chemical properties are unknown. Hence, further studies on the effect of infusing extracted anthocyanin from plants should be done in developing the intelligent food packaging. From this review, the invention of bio-based plastics can slowly substitute the use of common synthetic plastics as what had been implied by Eon Company since 2004. Furthermore, the use of biodegradable plastics bags can also reduce the death of aquatic animals. Besides, anthocyanins are conventionally used as medicine in treating several diseases. Plant anthocyanins have been widely studied due to their medicinal values. The objectives are to review the extracted anthocyanin from various plants as acid-based indicator, to review the production of biofilm by infusing extracted anthocyanin as a pH indicator, as well as to review the characterization of bioplastics with anthocyanin on its tensile properties, thickness, degradability, as well as moisture content. The entire quantity of plastic trash produced now surpasses 200 million tons with an annual growth rate of around 5%. It is critical to employ alternative material. Precisely, petroleum-based ingredients were utilized to produce plastics. They are popular due to their inexpensive cost and mechanical properties. Plastic packaging frequently holds residues from food it contains as well as other biological substances making recycling problematic and costly. In consequence, tons of plastic packaging are tossed into the environment each year exacerbating the waste problem. 
Hence, the use of both biodegradable and edible biopolymer packaging is one approach for reducing this environmental issue. Researchers and packaging industries are now focusing on polysaccharides and polysaccharides-based materials as alternative to synthetic polymer since they are environmentally friendly and biodegradable. Notably, it replicates all of the characteristics of synthetic polymers. Many different polysaccharides have been utilized as food packaging materials, including chitosan, starch, pectin, cellulose, and many more. Anthocyanins are accountable for the colors of the flowers, fruits, as well as vegetables, including cumin, magenta, mauve, indigo blue, and pink. Anthocyanin fits in a large group compounds identified as flavonoids, also a subdivision of an even larger collection of compounds known as polyphenol. The major types of anthocyanin present in different plant sources are presented in the table here. Few researchers have reported on extraction of anthocyanin from different sources such as cyanidin, pelagonidin, pionidin, as well as petunidin and malvidin. Anthocyanins were usually extracted from dried ground and blended plants with alcohol. Anthocyanins derived from several sources may exhibit diverse intensity and color stability due to their inherent difference in chemical structures. Its color and stability are influenced by a variety of factors. In table here, it could be seen that the different sources of anthocyanin exhibit different results in color changes depending on its surrounding nature. Recently, researchers have attempted to cast natural dyes based on anthocyanin directly into polymer matrix. Table here lists the current research findings on the integration of anthocyanin in polymer matrix on food application. First, the anthocyanin are used as a pH sensor for monitoring beef and fish. Extrusion was used to make cassava starch sheets and anthocyanin were added throughout the process. Researchers stated that there was an alteration to the mechanical characteristics. Researchers also find that cassava starch with the greatest anthocyanin content was shown to be the most efficient as pH sensor. Next, some pH-sensitive chitin nanofibers and methylcellulose based films infused with red barberry anthocyanins. The anthocyanin extract was incorporated into the chitin nanofiber and methylcellulose film solution using the casting technique. The effect of adding anthocyanins in the films was investigated by a few researchers. Table here shows the mechanical properties of films fused with color pigments. As shown, the tensile strength depends on the percentage anthocyanin inserted into the biofilm. In previous study, Zai et al. 2017 incorporated different percentages which is 0, 0 0.3, 0 0.6 and 1.2% of rosal anthocyanin into the biofilm based on starch polyvinyl alcohol. The mechanical properties of the films were evaluated and it was found that the higher the percentage added, the lower the tensile strength of the films compared with the control. Elongation of the films, however, inverse proportionally to the tensile strength. The study conducted by Ma et al. 2017 demonstrated the same results when films based on tarragon polyvinyl alcohol were used. In contrast, the study by Liu et al. 2018 shows a diverse results with the increasing in the addition of colorometric compounds into the film. The tensile strength decreases while elongation reduces. Degradability in soil can be identified by a soil burial test. A study by Zai et al. 2017 reported that the higher the percentages of anthocyanins added, the lower the tensile strength of the films and the thicker the biofilms. Hence, it is fair to predict that the anthocyanin infused in biofilms may accelerate the degradation of the biofilm in soil burial tests. A study by Tosin et al. 2012 found that bioplastic feeds huge mechanical decay in seawater. In the study, the addition of other elements such as nutrients highly affected the degradation process. This happened due to the change in physiology of microbial population when nutrients were added. Relating to this research, the addition of anthocyanins into bio-based plastics will also affect the degradation of the films. However, more research on the addition of anthocyanins into biofilms related to degradation in seawater should be done in order to verify this statement. 
In a previous study conducted by Alvarez Severino et al. 2015, degradation of bio-based films in seawater was measured by the loss in elongation at break. It was found that some pre-submerged bioplastics with anthocyanins would have shorter elongation at break compared to bioplastics without the addition of anthocyanins. The results were similar to studies conducted by Zai et al. 2017 and Ma et al. 2017. However, Yoshida et al. 2014 and Liu et al. 2018 reported the opposite results, which the elongation at break of bioflames were reduced after the addition of anthocyanins. In conclusion, food packaging is an essential component in preserving and maintaining food quality. Intelligent packaging is an innovative way to give a more accurate information to suppliers and more crucially, customers. Indeed, these advanced packaging systems are engineered in providing information on the quality of items being packaged and to detect the degree of food deterioration, this resulting in an improved food safety and quality. Intelligent food packaging is also a viable field for the development of innovative and bio-based packaging solutions that meet the needs of today's global customers, as well as raise awareness for the environmental consequences of petroleum-based materials. Although food packaging is becoming more innovative, its usage in market displays is still limited. By using industry skill studies and evaluating customers' reactions at the point of purchase, the researchers could break down these obstacles and solidify the results. Scaling up and industrializing anthocyanins for food packaging applications might be difficult. Thus, it should be considered early in the development process to ensure a successful commercialization. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay home and stay safe.